Four protesters were arrested prior to Saturday's Pride Parade, and today their protests and demands continue. The scuffle between officers and the protesters were captured by a lot of cell phones over the weekend. However, those phones and the people holding them can cause more harm than good to police. Matt Edwards has been following the story. He joins us now in the studio with the latest. Matt. Mike, we talked last week about security leading up to the Pride festivities. So when an unexpected group was blocking the parade, police got involved. And with dozens of camera phones pointed right at them, protesters did not budge. On the street! On the street! Please do not engage! As police attempted to remove unpermitted protesters before Saturday's Pride parade, some chose not to obey orders. People are always trying to provoke us, and we have to rely on our training to kick in. Instead of backing away from the situation, some bystanders flooded it, shooting cell phone video during the dangerous scenario. Out of the street, onto the sidewalk. That's not protocol. Out of the street, onto the sidewalk. Or you'll be under arrest. When we have individuals that want to film us doing our job, we're fine with that. It's not going to stop us from doing our job. We're going to do it, and sometimes it doesn't look pretty, but. Um, it's effective. And in this case, they were infringing upon the rights of the people, of the individuals that obtained the proper permits to have their parade. Today, protesters stood outside of the Franklin County Courthouse demanding charges be dropped against the four arrested protesters. What side are you? One of my people. What side are you? One they would not speak with NBC4. Do you guys have anything you'd like to say? About what happened? No. Audible cheers can be heard when police arrive on horseback during the protest. Police say that's been mirrored on social media. We're being thanked up and down more than we are being hated. The protesters say they want black and brown people to be more involved in LBGTQ community in Central Ohio. Stonewall Columbus telling me today they plan to hold a meeting next month to address that issue. In the studio tonight, Matt Edwards, NBC4. Matt, thank you.